Hey, what's up, travelers? I'm about to fly Garuda Indonesia economy from Jakarta to Bali. This will be, well, not the perfect chance, but it's a good chance to give Garuda economy a try. I tried them in business almost exactly a year ago now. So let me take a quick break in the seat tour and just tell you the flight attendant who will be taking care of me today came by and introduced herself uh, as they do on the top airlines in my experience. She gave me a tour of the seat, information about where the lavatories are. We spoke a bit about the menu, all that stuff, and I was thinking about it. So if you haven't checked out my review, go check it out in the card now because I had a great flight and people say such amazing things about Garuda. So I paid double the price to fly Garuda over Oscar, who's currently flying the same route on AirAsia. So I'm excited to see what it's like. It seems like it's a super full flight. So it might end up being an iPhone vlog again, oops. But um, anyway, the price was still decent. Um, Terminal 3 here in Jakarta is really nice, although I do like Terminal 2 as well. I think it's quite a fun place to fly from. And once again, hi to everyone from Indonesia watching this. Um, let's go see what the flight is like. My check baggage was overweight for this domestic flight, so I always do innovative solutions. I always do innovative solutions. Here I connected one bag to my carry-on so I can have free hands. And, ah, so apparently there was a gate change in our gate 13 and I was like being one of the first to board. So if I can't be that now, we might end up getting cabin shots from after landing as well. Today I'm flying a 777-300ER, which is probably continuing on to Tokyo. Ooh, sorry. So uh, it's good to know that Garuda still has a 333 configuration on their 777s, which is much more spacious and much nicer than what most other airlines have nowadays. So, short interruption, don't I look very just went on vacation -y. I have a message from today's video sponsor, a company that's new to sponsoring my videos, but that you have surely heard about, Audible. I signed up years ago using another influencer's link, Dan Ferris actually, and I've been listening to audiobooks during my travels ever since. If you're looking to live a freer, more flexible life like me, I recommend listening to The $100 Startup on Audible for some great ideas on how to travel more and work less. In the spirit of the holidays, why not give yourself or someone else the gift of Audible at 53% off for just $6.95 per month. Go to audible.com slash nonstop or text nonstop to 500-500. Honestly, if you don't know what to give someone for the holidays, what better to give than an abundance of knowledge and entertainment through Audible, especially through Audible Originals, which is exclusive content created by famous storytellers. Once again, you can give the gift of Audible by going to audible.com slash nonstop or texting nonstop to 500-500. Okay, guys, welcome to my seat in Garuda, Garuda Indonesia economy class here on the 777-300 right by the lavatory. So this is a mini cabin, as you can see, business class is right in front of us. And here is my row. It's a 3-3 configuration with this huge footrest. And the legroom in the window seat is kind of obstructed by the entertainment system box, but we have another one over there. So the knee space seems super comfortable though. And you can see here, the tray table comes out right like a deer. Just get straight into the seat recline as well. I push back. And there's a look at how much it reclined. As far as seat width, the seat is super wide given the 333 configuration. Also have a huge storage compartment here with the headphones waiting for us. But here are the headphones. Look at this. So here you can 
see the configuration. We're on the top one, which features first class at the very front, and then I'm back here in the Twilight Tree. guys we made it to Denpasar airport we ended up landing about 15 minutes late so it wasn't too bad although we took off 40 minutes after takeoff but I have to say boarding was just complete chaos we were about I guess 25 minutes late with boarding and there were no announcements the entire time and people were lining up there was so much confusion and once they actually started boarding it was even more chaos because there was no like distinction between lines and for everyone in the economy they were boarding based on seat rows, but people hadn't lined up that way, so it was just crazy. But luckily we got on board, and I have to say, this was probably one of the best, maybe top three or top five economy class seats I've ever flown in. Given that the seat is so wide in this 777 old configuration and the legroom, everything, it was so comfortable when you reclined the seat. Honestly, I would be happy to fly it again. I also have to say that the crew were so lovely. Garuda is known for their great crew. You notice the small things in economy and it did make a difference. And for example, uh, since I was sitting in my seat like recording a little bit after everyone was deboarding, while everyone was deboarding, my headphones accidentally slipped out of my pocket. And I realized as I was walking through business class, I always remember to feel your pockets to make sure you haven't forgotten anything. I realized I didn't have them. I had a moment of panic. Luckily there was a flight attendant right there and I told her, and she was so understanding uh, and she was helping me like get back to my seat so I was one of those really annoying people but anyway that worked out as well so overall the crew is great also the entertainment system surprisingly impressive I didn't remember it being this good but I found plenty of things to watch I watched three episodes of Modern Family and one of Friends even though it was a tiny gesture giving out the mints like they did before takeoff just makes such a big difference in the impression because it feels like you're getting a little gift and also, if you're from Indonesia, please let me know, what are these mints? Are they big here? Because they were so good. One more thing I didn't film at the seat, there were power ports between the seats so you could charge your laptop. Another bonus. Garuda Indonesia's safety video is a lot of fun. I'm gonna insert a little bit of it here so you can see because it showcases Indonesia really nicely. Portable electronic devices with transmitters which can interfere with the aircraft navigation and communication system must be turned off. For your convenience, enjoy our in-flight connectivity facility on several types of our aircraft. This is a non-smoking flight. And lastly, the meal. I think that was one of the highlights of this flight, getting such an incredible vegetarian meal. I ordered the VGML, so the normal vegetarian vegan meal. Pre-ordered it online. It was so good. The curry, the tempeh, the tofu, it was all delicious. So, so good. And getting that on a one and a half hour domestic flight blows my mind in economy. So overall, I'm super happy with this flight and I would strongly recommend Garuda Indonesia if you have the option to fly it domestically. Now, is it worth twice the price of AirAsia? Probably not. I would go to AirAsia and just get a hot seat and have a reasonably comfortable ride for such a short journey. But overall, I'm really happy I got to try Garuda and I think that they are one of the stars of Sky Team. I was very satisfied. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Please let me know down below if you have flown Garuda Indonesia and how your experience has been. The airline in general is a bit chaotic. They change their plans all the time seemingly as much as they change management and direction. So. On, an, on a higher level, the airline seems to not really know what it's doing, but on board, at least in economy, you still notice that they have a great product. So that's all I can say for today, guys. And until I see you all very soon for the next video, fly safe.